he doing? I think we worked again. I think we're in the 80s in a music video. I don't think he's gonna stop. I kinda like this. Maybe we should stay here. Come on, JJ and Chloe, aerobics dance with me. <laughs> Never mind. I don't wanna stay here. Start the tutorial. JJ really doesn't wanna do an aerobic dance battle. So let's just show you how to create another retro video effect, an 80s dance style video. First, let's import the clips into Filmora 10. We're gonna be using three different clips for this example. Drag the hoop dancer footage to the first video track on the timeline, and the disco ball footage to the second track. This will act as the background. Move the playhead forward and find the moment when the hoop dancer starts, and then click the disco ball footage to open up the editing effects option. Find the animation tab, and under customize, add a keyframe at this point. We don't want to change anything on this keyframe, so move the playhead back a little bit and add the second keyframe and then change the opacity to 50%. Now let's take the third video clip, the model taking off her sunglasses and then add it to the third video track. Choose a spot where we want to start the video, then add a keyframe at the beginning of that video. Then change the opacity to 0%. Now move the playhead back a bit and then add a second keyframe. Change the opacity of the second keyframe to 100%. You can adjust the position of the clips so they appear where you want them to appear. Now let's add some retro flair by adding some filters and effects on top of the video clips. Go to the Effect tab and under Overlay and TV Static, add the VHS Distortion Overlay and the VHS Rewind Overlay on the track above all the tracks. You can now play around with the TV static effects to find the best look for your retro 80s video. If you want to add more 80s inspired effects, go ahead and check out the Film Socks library. Chloe! Caleb! Where are you? I can't see anything!